gathering of this nature is indicative of the fact that there is general consensus that corruption cannot be addressed by government alone or any type of services to the people of South Africa. Civil society, the private sector, and academia as a collective with government can be instrumental in effective <coughs> service delivery and fighting corruption in our country. As government, we are now in a position to act on the recommendations of the Judicial uh, Commission into the allegations of state capture, corruption, and fraud in the public sector. I am pleased to highlight a few areas where significant progress has been made to date. And this obviously will lead to ongoing debates in society um, and to the shape of our democracy and of our various institutions. The National Prosecuting Authority and the Investigative Directories have made significant progress in their renewal program. The reinstatement of the Aspirant Prosecutors Program has seen the reinvigoration of the NPA countrywide. And more than 1,000 new employees have been brought into the fold over the past three years through the Aspirant uh, Prosecutor Program that has been reinstated to recapacitate and recalibrate the National Prosecuting Authority. One of the weak points which have been identified in the criminal justice system is a silo approach in the fight against fraud and corruption and crime in general. Today, we see greater levels of collaborations and coordination between the investigative directorate, the assay forfeiture unit, the special commercial crime unit within the uh, the, the Special Investigating Unit and the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation. This has been self-evident with the ACTT records recording 35 cases in court involving 180 accused. In total, the Investigative Directorate has enrolled 32 cases involving 187 accused individuals have appeared in court for alleged state capture-related offenses.